channel. I've literally just popped inside. Oh, what have you just found to eat? I've um, just popped inside because the heavens have open. So I started this schooling exercise video, or I should say poll exercise video, um, outside and then it started raining. So I've come back in. I thought I might as well do the intro now. And then I'm hoping if this weather blows over, I can go back out with Sienna and finish recording the rest of the exercises. So you're in a bit of a funky mood today, aren't you? She's just having one of those days where she's very distracted. She's not really concentrating on the job in hand. She keeps stalling, she's looking around, and then she gets a bit jolly and a bit bouncy. And yes, she's in one of those moods. She wants to chew everything and bite everything. And yeah, you're just, you're just having one of those days, aren't you, dear? Anyway, I've got four really good in-hand pole exercises that are great for working on your horse's core strength. Now, obviously with Sienna, if you followed my journey for a while, you'll know that we've been trying to make her stronger over her back, get her to learn to engage her core, lift through her back, sit on those hind quarters more. And I think all these pole exercises are really good for that and work really well in hand. I'd say two out of the four of them, you could also do ridden. Um, but I think the other two are probably better off in hand. But anyway, I'm hoping this rain will go away so we can get on and actually show everybody these exercises, but I like them a lot. And I'm definitely, these are gonna be added in to our weekly routine. Oh, you are in a very funny mood today, aren't you? Not to be trusted, not to be trusted in the slightest. I'm just in that naughty mood, yes you are. Anyway, let's hope the rain goes so I can get on and finish recording the rest of these pole exercises. Ah, oh, wish me luck. So we are starting straight out with probably my most favourite exercise out of the four that I'm showing you today. And that is to do transitions between two sets of poles. Now you can have as many poles as you want in each set. You could raise them if you wanted to make it a bit harder. You could ride this, but you would need to make sure you leave yourself plenty of space in between both sets of poles. Now as you can see, I'm doing it in hand with Sienna today. And the great thing is, is by doing transitions between the two sets of poles. It's a great way to kind of keep your horses focused, kind of keep the communication line open. It's great for your horse's balance. And I find that then when you halt and then go into walking over some poles, you tend to find your horse lifts a little bit more. They tend to be a little bit softer over the back. And I just think it keeps your horse listening to you because when you do in hand work, it's very easy for them to get distracted and lose focus. And I find transitions can really help with that. To make it a little bit harder, you can then add in a rein back in between the two sets of poles. Now, for some reason today, Sienna found this really hard because I do a lot of rein back with her when I'm working her in hand and she just found it really hard between the two poles. So what I should have done is done two guide poles in the middle there and that would have worked to treat. So next time I'm doing that. So the great thing about doing rein back is it's a great way to help your horse engage their hind end, carry more weight behind, lighten the forehand. There are so many benefits to it. Here, I just needed to double check that Sienna could rein back straight because she seemed to be struggling so much between the poles. Um, and so I gave it one more go. And this time we managed to get it spot on and she did some nice small steps backwards. You obviously want to keep this very calm, very relaxed. There's no rush, but you're just helping your horse to sit on those hind quarters while using the pole work to really help them lift. Next up is the staircase pole exercise, and this is where each pole should increase in height. And this is a real workout for your horse's core strength, because obviously as they're going up or down the poles, they're going to have to sit on their hindquarters even more to lift over them. Now, I did one slightly higher, as you can see here, and Sienna just struggled a little bit with it. So then I just dropped it down one side to make it a little bit easier. You don't want to make it so difficult that they end up making mistakes like that. But yes, this exercise is a really tough one for your horse. So the next exercise, another one that which is going to be great for your horse's core strength and their hind end engagement, and that is to sort of sidestep over a pole on the ground. Now you can see here I've set out a line of poles and I was asking Sienna to sidestep and then lift as she stepped over the pole. Now this takes a little bit of working out for your horse. So take your time with it and don't expect them to get it on the first attempt. Like I think this is something she's going to learn to get better at over time. And you may have to allow your horse to come at a bit of a funny angle from time to time. Definitely Sienna had a stronger side and a weaker side for this exercise. And I think it's slightly better done in hand than it would be to be ridden. You could do it in ridden work, but I think on the ground, you can see your horse's positioning better. You can work on their hindquarters a little bit better. But you can see when Sienna gets it right, the amount of lift and the crossover that she gets from her hindquarters is really good. So this is going to be a really good exercise to do long term. And then finally, my last exercise, which is doing a figure of eight over poles. However, since watching it, not sure I did the 
best job of laying my poles out here, but you get the gist of it. Um, you could do this ridden, but you'd have to make it a lot bigger. But I really like doing pole work, which includes your horse changing the rein quite a lot, because as they step over the poles, if you then change the rein, you tend to find your horse takes a little bit more weight behind, and they just engage their hindquarters that bit more. They use their core strength a little bit more. So lots of changing the rein is really good for them. And I love poles on a curving line. Again, I find that's great for engagement, you could do these raised if you wanted to make it a little bit harder. By this point, Sienna had really started to relax and you can see her whole frame is a lot better. Her head and neck are nice and out in front of her. I don't mind if she chooses to stretch down a little bit more. I just don't need any giraffe impressions. And yeah, I kind of just went here, there and everywhere, as you can see. I didn't necessarily stick to the figure of eight. And then afterwards, we let her have a little bit of fun time. You're cute, aren't you? You are cute. I have just come on to finish the vlog there. I actually filmed it a few days ago now um, and I really enjoyed it. I do love finding new in-hand pole exercises I can do with Sienna. And I especially, and I already said this in the vlog, but love the one with the rain back in between the poles. I just think that works so well at getting the horse to really sit on their hindquarters and engage their core muscles. Everything that Sienna needs to be working on. And they're nice exercises that you can do with any type of horse. You can do it with your young horse. You can do it with your veteran horse. You can do it with the horse that's rehabbing as long as your vet and physio agree with it. Um, and I love being able to do it without any tack on them, especially without a saddle or a rider on, because then I feel like the horse has the ability to use their body properly. There's nothing restricting them. And so if it's like even more beneficial then. Um, so yes, yeah, so no, I just absolutely love doing pole work. And I do think it's helped Senna a lot over the kind of months that we've been doing it with her. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy. She was quite sparky, I have to say the other day. She senses that spring is in the air. I've told her it's fake spring. We all know that in February you get fake spring. <laughs> You've got to wait a little while before you get the real spring. But she is convinced that spring is here and she just has a lot of energy and it's just sort of boiling over at the moment. And she was quite distracted. And I do find the only thing with doing in-hand pole work is they can get quite bored quite quickly, which is why I like to set lots of different pole exercises up so you can keep changing it up. Because if you do the same one or two over and over again, they get really bored and then they start looking for distractions. And yeah, you need to keep keep them focused and give them plenty to think about. But yeah, she's definitely living on the edge at the moment. She's just... <laughs> Just a couple of times, obviously it didn't, it wasn't in the video, but a couple of times she kind of went, wow, it's a pigeon. And I was like, it's all good. And then suddenly someone like hooted their car horn and she's like, ah, horn. And she's not really that kind of jumpy horse, but I think just, yeah, she's on the edge. I think most horses are, all the ones I'm riding at work at the moment are all tiltering on the edge. Like we just need to explode. You're like, keep it together, keep it together. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed these exercises. Let me know how you get on in the comments below and I'll see you again soon for another vlog.